what we do here is go back, 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 back. Hello you guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Guide. I hope you guys are having a good day. I am really excited for today because we are going to do some enchanting. Now you see at the bottom there I've got a ton of levels. Um, and so we're going to build an enchanting room. Uh, we're going to build it underground actually using some sticky pistons and different things. And I'm hoping to do it uh, right in this area, um, like kind of right over here. Um, and we'll make it go down underneath the ground. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be a good idea um, to just get get that um, out of the way. Um, I built the these two farms over here last episode so that you guys can um, so we can do the enchanting. But um, we haven't got to do it yet. So this farm's been going really well. We've got three, a little more than three stacks, and then on this side. Um, We've got um, a stack and some, and I've already taken some some of the beef, so it's going really well. I think they're they're gonna be two very useful farms. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and go gather materials, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, so now that I've got the materials, here's what we're gonna need. So we just need this little bit over here. Um, I would have some dirt that you're gonna go ahead and hide all of this in. Um, you're gonna need some stairs, any kind of stairs, any kind of building block. Um, the most important thing is you're going to need 12 sticky pistons and 12 redstone repeaters along with some redstone. I might need some more redstone, but I have some in my chest. So here we go. Um, this is going to be where our entrance is. This is going to be where the, the first sticky piston is going to go. Um, you know what? Actually, we'll go ahead and put it right here. This is, where, this is where the staircase will be. It's going to be five long like this. We might actually get two cover that up so that when we're when you look at it from the outside it looks like this all right so um, once you've found a spot that you want to do whether that be inside of a hill or um, just in a flat spot what you're going to want to do is um, dig out eight blocks long um, and um, however many blocks wide is how long you want that door to open so I'm content with just four, so I'm actually only going to use four pistons on one side and four pistons on the other. Um, but you can do up to six or eight or whatever you think looks best. Um, so from this point, uh, we're going to go ahead and place um, the pistons um, one block away from the edge like this. Um, and then same thing on the other side like so. Um, now in the middle, we're going to have go ahead and get our dirt. We're going to have um, two blocks um, two blocks like this of dirt um, and this will be the dirt that ends up opening up to our um, our walkway. When these sticky pistons come out they'll bring the dirt back um, and then th this will have opened up um, for us to walk down. On both sides of these pistons we're going to actually want to dig out one more block um, so there's two blocks behind it, so we have enough room for um, the redstone components, which will be um, yeah, some redstone, some repeaters, um, and then eventually um, a lever or um, what we'll end up using is a button, but a lever at first just to show you what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and get redstone repeater out, and you can kind of tell there's these little arrows that are pointed on there that are pointing this way. Make sure that um, the arrows are pointing towards the pistons, not away from the pistons. That wouldn't do us very much good. So we'll just do it like this. And then we'll put some redstone, like so. And just for an example, I'll go ahead and um, bring the redstone um, out and around like this. Just to show you. We'll eventually hide it, but, um, but we'll do just like this. Uh, I'll put a little lever right here. Boom, boom. So if you guys watch, you've got um, dirt is now on the side. When I do this, it's going to close. When I do this, it's going to open, and then we'll walk straight down. Um, and down there, we'll have a redstone contraption to close this back up so that we're not um, prone to being attacked. But we need to work on um, getting down into what's going to be uh, our enchantment room. Um, and then um, from there, um, we're going to actually 
um, make a way for us to um, open open and close this from uh, below ground as well as above ground and that's going to take um, a big redstone contraption that will actually hide right underneath the ground right here um, so we won't see that at all but i'll have to dig out all this ground so that we're able to do that so i'm going to get that ready and then i'll see you guys soon all right so i've dug out a little bit put some torches down um, just so that i'm able to kind of give myself a peek of what the room is going to look like um, so from when you get down here, um, you're going to want to um, build a little staircase up. Now this isn't for you, this is actually for the redstone. Um, now the redstone contraption that we're going to do is going to rest two blocks below the surface so that we're able to cover it up with grass so that it's on the same level and just hidden. Um, so this is going to come down, um, we're going to have uh, one piece of stone right here um, and we'll put a button or a lever on it. Um, and that's going to be able to uh, shut down the power via that contraption up there um, that's powering this door and it'll totally shut down. So um, just so that we don't have to worry about it later, um, I'm going to go ahead, yeah that's the last one I can do, I'm going to go ahead and put some torches down. Now it's looking a little bit funny right now because I haven't done any real decoration, decorating to it and whatnot, um, but we're going to go ahead and fill this all in with stone bricks later on so don't worry we'll hide this with grass and do the rest of stone bricks um, once we're done so I'm gonna go ahead and dig out a bunch of this uh, top layer um, right here so that two blocks down so that we're able to um, get this contraption going so I'm gonna keep doing that and I'll meet up with you guys when I'm done digging this out okay so I've built out this um, big area so that we have enough room. Now we may not use all of this, but I decided to um, just dig up enough space and then we'll cover up whatever obviously that we don't use. Um, but this is to um, get a current that will work on both ends so that we can um, open and close on both ends. So um, we're going to start by just making sure that this works. Um, so what we're going to do is I need some more levers. Um, what we need to do is we need to um, make an inverter signal. So I'm going to make sure this is right in the middle. Um, I'm going to put some redstone like this, make sure that these are on. So you see that that redstone is working. Boom. And now when I put a redstone torch here, it should turn off. Now when I turn it back on or turn that off, um, it should turn on. So. Um, and that's how the, uh, the door will function, um, is it will um, work and not work like this. Um, now this, this one won't be here and this one won't be here, but this is just a matter of we're going to keep testing it as we go to make sure that it works. Um, this one um, will eventually be um, down below, which I may end up coming from the other side because um, I think the one in front needs to be on the left just because of how the land looks. So I may need to re-dig out um, what we're doing. So let me go do that real quick and then I'll be back. All right, so I've covered this side now and we've got our staircase down on this side. Um, and this will be where the redstone comes so that we can turn the power off. But we're going to um, keep filling out this redstone contraption so that we're able to uh, make sure that, that current gets all the way to the front. So at this point, you're going to need some levers. Um, you're going to need some redstone torches, um, some blocks of stone, um, and probably some repeaters as we get farther away from um, a block of redstone that has power. So go ahead and grab those things and then we'll keep going. All right, next up is we're going to make a couple more inverters um, and they're going to kind of make this box shape. So we want to go two away from um, each of these and we're going to um, we're going to just line it all up with some redstone. Um, so we're going to use um, we're going to combine these here. I'll put the redstone torches on these uh, just like this. Um, and we're going to use redstone all the way to here and then we're going to connect it to here. And then we're going to connect them in front like this. Um, and that's basically it when it comes to the repeater. Um, now you'll see that uh, one way is on, um, or like this, you'll see that that one's on. If I turn them both off, that one's just on. So you'll see how it works when it's all said and done. 
Um, but that's basically it for the contraption up here. Now it's just a matter of connecting it with, um, with the front so that it opens and closes the doors. All right, so to show you how this works, um, I've kind of just created a makeshift like thing to get here just so that you can see exactly how this works. Um, we're gonna connect these red piece of redstone um, down over here. Um, now, let's see if we can, you might be able to hear it. So you can hear them. I just closed it right there. Um, and now if I hit this one again, it's gonna open it, boom. So that would be the one that's in the front. Um, now this is the one that would be inside, it closes it. And then now it opens it back up. So we have a fully working uh, redstone machine. Um, now I just need to get these uh, levers um, and different places using repeaters. Um, so I'm going to bring this lever um, down uh, in front. It's gonna be right next to the entrance. Um, so it'll be, um, I'm actually not even gonna have this piece here. Um, so it's actually, I'm gonna bring it right down in front, uh, right here, um, so that it's, um, or maybe one more, um, so that I can hit it. Um, it'll make the whole thing work. Um, and then the other one is going to be, like I said, down at the bottom of the staircase, um, right here. And then we'll have another lever, and it'll turn off from there. So, um, or maybe I'll put it right there. Who knows? We'll figure it out. Um, but I need to go sleep and then we'll finish this off. All right, so I'm trying to mess around and see how this is gonna work, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and take out these levers that were right here and put in repeaters um, so that when I do put in a lever, like so, um, and I turn it on, um, this repeater, we don't want it to be that way. We want it to go that way, I think. That should have, I think that closed it. Now if I turn it off, boom, it's open. All right, that works. So if I keep the repeater pointing that way, not straight forward, that won't do me any good. Um, same thing there, um, it's gonna work. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out this lever, um, is from this repeater, it's repeating um, the redstone signal that the lever is giving out. It can do it up to 15 blocks. So right now, uh, right there, that's only three blocks, but if I do, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, I think it's gonna work, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. Um, I had to keep what we had before so that it would work. Um, now, if I go down in here, um, and it, I should be able to put a lever right here. If I do that, maybe it doesn't work on this one. Hmm, how are we gonna do this? Boom, just like that. So we'll make this look better, um, but the mechanics are there to where we're able to open and close it from below. Um, now I just need to go on the other side and do that from the bottom um, or from the entrance. So I've Done the same thing with the repeater here. Let's just make sure that it works. I need to go over one more block, right? No, all the way to here. Let's make sure that it works. Boom, I heard it. Cool. So, right now, we're already at three blocks. We need to make sure that we can last four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ooh, 10, 11, well, all right, this is not going to quite make it. So I'm gonna put another um, repeater down so it repeats that current 13. Oh yeah, no, we're good. So I need to go get some more redstone so I can put it in there. Um, and then it should work on both ends and then we'll just make it look prettier. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that redstone all the way underneath this block, which I'll eventually change. Everything will look a lot better later. Um, but um, I should be able to, since it's on top of this block, I should be able to put, um, okay, that's not gonna work. Hmm, we might have to build a little staircase up so that it can, in fact, um, get a current. Like this, maybe? 
Okay, that's gonna work. But it's not quite getting there, so something's ha Okay, maybe we need to turn this around. Boom, just like that. All right, so from the front we've got this. It's gonna open and close. So it'll be hidden to everyone. Once we open it, we can walk right on down and then we can close it. Perfect. So the minecraft mechanics are done. Oh, I'm really happy with how that turned out. So I'm gonna go ahead and go make it look pretty and then I'm gonna come back. All right, you guys, so it's almost like we did not even just put a whole redstone contraption underneath here. So what I've done is I've completely covered it with dirt, covered everything. Can't really tell if there's really anything going on. Until you get to the front, and I wanted there to be a little sneak peek until we go down. So I want it to kind of look like um, there is something that's supposed to go down there, but the ground's kind of trapping it. Um, unless you flip this, and then you're able to go down. And I got all these stone bricks kind of coming down. Um, we've got torches for now, but later on we'll end up switching that to um, lanterns for sure because those look much better. Um, now I haven't done anything to the inside, it's just the entrance so far. Um, so now it's kind of going to be the inside work. We're going to go ahead and um, expand um, in this room. And I'm going to make sure that I don't... Um, this ceiling needs to stay the same. So I can keep expanding in different ways, um, but that ceiling needs to stay the same. I may end up moving this back a little bit, um, only because um, right now it's just out in the room a little bit too much. Or I might move it out right there, but um, I want a little bit more room. I want to be able to um, yeah, do some more stuff, and this is kind of in, in the way. Um, but I can close it back up, um, and I am down here now. So um, I'm going to go ahead and move this a little bit, and then I'll start digging this out with you guys. I have now finished um, digging out that um, kind of underground part. I think it looks fairly hidden besides these, but I like this. Um, so we hit this, we open it up, and boom! I opened it up a whole lot more. Um, I wanted to give it some more space down here so that it wasn't so crowded. Maybe we could put some more things down here. Um, I plan on putting the enchanting setup over here in this corner, um, and maybe we'll use the rest of the area for. Um, some nether things and like some um, just different things from like ne nether ward and yeah just just trying to figure out how to use this space right I like to uh, uh, change up my building a little bit so um, around we've got a mixture of stone um, stone bricks and cobblestone and I think it turned out pretty well we'll eventually put some carpet down um, but for now we need to go get um, the ingredients for um, our bookshelves. Um, I'm going to be um, primarily building down in here. Um, we also need a lot of wood. Let's make sure that I've got some wood. I think I'll have enough wood. If I need any more, I can go back out. But you'll see that it works just fine. We cover it up and boom. I'd like to bring some lanterns down here because it still is a little bit dark. Um, but for now, this will do. So. We're going to go ahead and uh, plop down our crafting table and see how many books we can make. So as of right now, we can make four, but we need to make a bunch of paper. So let's go ahead and make a stack there. That gets us a 21 books. Let's make another stack. 42. Oh, that's going to be plenty. That is going to be plenty. We'll go ahead and make all of those. We've got 46 books. Um, yeah, that should be plenty of books, I think. I think, yeah, I think that makes 15, right? And then we plus we got these four. Yeah, we, we've got plenty. Um, so we're going to go ahead. Um, all that we need from here is we need um, a bunch of wood. So it looks like we actually don't have um, enough wood um, quite yet. but. This will, this will do for now. I'll get more wood later. Um, I'm actually not going to use um, those blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and go get some more wood. All right, so this is the kind of setup that I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, now, being underground, it kind of looks a little bit different, but this, is I, I think, is a good setup for any enchantment table. Now, this uh, torch represents where our enchantment table would be. Um, and then we'll have bookshelves all around it to uh, increase our uh, enchantments. So 
Um, the rest of this room, I think I'll have some nether wart over here. I'll have, um, you know, just different things. I'll have some chests along this wall. Uh, we'll really make it look nice. Um, we'll make sure to have kind of like a carpet path from the door. I think that'll look really nice. Um, but the enchantment table will be, and the enchantment setup is going to be the main focus of this room. We'll just use the extra parts of the room for different things. Um, but I really like this. I think this is going to be a nice addition to our world um, down here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put, the put the table down and put the uh, bookshelves in. Um, and then we can uh, enchant some things. All right, so this is the setup that I ended up going with. I took away these um, these fences because they would kind of connect to every bookcase all the way around, and I thought it looked really bad. So I think we'll end up using the outside for different, um, we'll do chests, and we'll do, um, like we'll need an anvil in here and all those different things. So um, yeah, for now, just looks like this. But I wanted to show you guys how to craft a enchantment table. So um, enchantment tables are going to cost you a little bit, but they're going to give you a bunch in return. So um, if you look here, we've got four obsidian kind of placed in a little upside down T shape. We've got two diamonds that make up the corners and then a book on top and you will get your enchantment table. So this enchantment table I think is one of the coolest things. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this away. Um, now the enchantment table needs to be within a certain radius of these. So it needs to be, it needs to only have one block between them. It can be diagonal like this. So like this guy is going to match because we're going to put him right in the middle here. Um, but you know, I, I didn't fill in those corners with bookshelves because those won't count. This has two blocks in between. So this is what's going to matter right here. We go boom, gives a little bit of light off. And you'll see it's kind of pulling these little like letters out from these bookshelves. Um, that means that the enchantments are being filled into the book. So if I was to place my iron pickaxe in, um, you'll see that we have a level 30 option available. That's because we have 18 um, bookshelves all the way around. Um, now for me, I enjoy, I really only enchant my um, diamond tools, but you can enchant really any tool. But um, the way that enchanting works is a little bit complicated, so I'm going to go ahead and get um, some armor and some tools so I can show you guys. Alright, a little update on, these, uh, on this enchantment room. We've got a fun uh, carpet walk right up to it. I'm going to put some chests on this side that we'll place some objects in. But for now, I'm going to show you guys what enchanting is all about. So I have some diamond tools and armor on the right that you can uh, look at. I'm going to start with my diamond pickaxe. So there's going to be all these different options um, when it comes to um, enchanting. Um, and the way that it works is the number on the left is the amount of levels that it's going to cost you. So if you look at the bottom of the screen, I've got 43 levels. So um, yeah, one, two, and three levels are no big deal. Um, but on the right shows us how many levels you have to be in order to get that enchantment. 30 will always be the maximum. So um, once you're above 30, you can get the highest enchantment for that set. So right now there'd be Silk Touch, plus it might have something else, but I don't really want Silk Touch. I'd really like to have Fortune. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try my sword. We got Sharpness 4. I think Sharpness 4 is really good. So the other component is you need one piece of lapis lazuli. We're going to click on this, and once I click on this, this is going to be enchanted. See that it's kind of glowing? And we've got Unbreaking 3. Oh, that's really good. So that thing is going to last us a while. It'd be really nice if we had, you know, uh, looting on there, but maybe we can find it in a book or enchant a book. So um, now if you look down at the bottom, I've got 40 levels left. So I thought it cost me three levels. Um, I'm still able to do a few more enchantments. Um, so um, let's go ahead and try our chest plate because I'm really curious. Ooh, protection four. That's really good. Um, hopefully it has something else on there. Protection four. And I'm breaking three thorns too. Not the best, but um, I will take the protection four and I'm breaking three for sure. Um, let's go and see. <gasps> Fortune three. Oh yes. And efficiency four. Oh, that's really good. Oh my goodness. We're getting some good enchantments tonight. Um, so you look at the bottom screen, I've got 34 levels. I'm able to do two more enchantments, so 
we've got three more things. We got the boots, we have the axe, and we have the shovel. I'm gonna go ahead and put the shovel in. Efficiency four. Oh, that's tempting. Let's see what else. Let's see what else we have. So efficiency four. Smite three. I do not want smite three on an axe. That's not what I use my axe for. Depth strider three. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. What I can do is I can pop in something like my bow and just do the the first enchantment. Although I don't really want that either. That's not really the best. Um, if my iron pickaxe had less, that's okay. We'll see what number one is. I'm breaking one again. Oh, come on. Give me something good. Let's try this sword. Knockback one. Really? Are you kidding me? Something a little bit better. All right, let's try this. Efficiency one. All right, that, that'll do. Just to reset our enchantments a little bit. So we've got this efficiency one axe, iron axe. That really doesn't matter. But I'm hoping now. <sighs> Sharpness four. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and check out the rest. Oh, so touch. That's exactly what I want. And efficient. Efficiency 3, that's pretty nice. Hopefully we get an unbreaking book so that it can last longer. Okay, so now we've got two more things and we have 30 levels. So we can do one more thing all the way up. Let's go and check out the boots. Ooh, I'm breaking 3. Let's try the axe. Fortune 2. Hmm. I'm going to take the boots. I think the boots are our best bet with Unbreaking 3. Let's see what else it has. Ooh, that is a bummer. Just Unbreaking 3. We're going to have to get some other books to enchant. Um, but that is kind of just your enchantment basics. You're always going to need Lapis. So I, I like to keep Lapis here. Since I didn't enchant that axe, I'm going to keep that here. I'm actually going to keep everything here because I'm not going to use it yet, um, but they are good to have. Um, one more thing before this episode ends. I want to show you um, how it works to enchant a book. So I will go get the book and then I will show you. All right, so one last thing before we end the episode. Um, we are going to um, show you how to enchant some books. So it works the same way, but books will have any variety of enchantments. Oh, I need to get the lapis lazuli. Um, I need to get this. Yeah, they could have any enchantment that could go for any piece of armor, any anything. So you'll see right here, since I'm less than 30, um, it's not going to have this book available, but it might have these, um, Power One or Lure. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with the Lure because we haven't gone fishing yet and I think that would be fun to do for an episode. So yeah, you can just um, keep plugging these in. Ooh, Feather Falling 3, that's pretty nice. I'm actually going to take that. Um, you'll see that if you pay attention to the Lapis Lazuli, um, it's going to cost the same amount of levels as Lapis Lazuli. So if I buy a level 3 enchantment, it's going to take 3 away. If I buy level 2, le it's going to take 2 away. If I buy 1, it's going to just take 1 away. So um, yeah, I think it's I think it's a pretty self-explanatory. But all right, let's look. Um, let's just go ahead and get the protection one. So yeah, that's just kind of oh, and it brought sharpness. That was a that was a nice one. Um, so these books, you can just put any book into the enchantment table and it will enchant it depending on the amount of levels you have. Now if you look down, I've got 22 levels left. I wanted to get rid of some levels um, before I died because if you die, you lose basically all of your levels. Um, if you go back to your stuff, you'll get seven levels back, but it takes a long time to get to 43. I haven't enchanted at all. So that is going to be it for this episode. Um, if you guys enjoyed, please make sure you like this video. Uh, if you're new here, please hit that sub subscribe button. It really helps me grow the channel. Um, comment what you want me to name the horse. I've only had a couple comments so far. Um, I'd like to name it in the next episode, so I want to see at least a couple comments about it. But um, that's going to do it for us. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope you guys have a good day. See ya.